What's up everyone, Take Down here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to replace the power supply on the PlayStation 3 Slim. And it's honestly really easy to do. You don't need that many tools, but there is a few things that you will definitely need. The first thing that you will need is a Phillips head screwdriver or a star screwdriver. Uh, this here is a smaller one. It's just for the screws to take out. You are gonna also want to have security bits. Now you can get these off of Amazon. They're really useful for a lot of different consoles and stuff. The one you need is a T8, but if you're already going to be paying 10 bucks for just a single one, you might as well get the whole set for around $10. In my opinion, that's a lot better of an option. And you also might want a flathead screwdriver or a prying tool. Now, if your PS3 has been opened plenty of times, even if it is just to clean it, you should be fine. It should just be able to pop off once you have all of the screws out. First thing you're going to want to do is turn it over. And you're going to take off all the feet around it to see the screws below. The top one here in the corner, this one actually there is no screw under it. So you don't need to remove that. It's actually just like a stick on uh, foot. But the little pieces is like this here. You're going to take all of them off and you're going to put them off to the side. As you can see, I have already done that. I also have all of these screws out. So in here, all of the screws are going to be the same and they're going to be these long ones here. And you're going to remove them all and you're going to keep those. Then you are going to have the security screws. Security screws for the PS3 Slim, right under this lip here, there's one here, one here, one here, and in some models there's a fourth and it's on the corner here, and you'll see those. They are black screws, and it's going to be hard, definitely hard to show you guys on camera, but it is a star bit. Of course it won't even focus on it. There you go. See, it's kind of like a star bit, that's why you're going to need the T8 to be able to remove it. So that's just a little bit. You put it in a ratchet, take it out, it takes no time at all. The other thing that you might want to do if you're gonna be opening it up is to remove the hard drive. For the purpose of this video, since it's only power supply I'm gonna be showing you guys, there's no reason to do it, it's super simple. You lift your little tab here, Phillips head screwdriver, as you can see mine's still in there. Take that out. You're gonna save the screw obviously, and then this little cover will come off and then the uh, hard drive will just slide right out. I don't need to show you guys that since we're just gonna be dealing with the power supply in this video. Once you have all the screws out and the security screws out, you're going to simply turn it back over with the PS3 logo and the front of it facing you. You are going to put your hands near the rear and you are going to, with the top cut case here, it's easier to explain and then do it, you're going to pull it towards you and lift up at the same time. Now, if the PS3 has never been opened, this can be a little difficult. Try to be careful with it. It is thinner plastic, so it can stop very easily. But again, you're just going to put your fingers on the top case. You're going to pull it downward and up at the same time. And it will pop off just like this. And you're going to put that to the side as well. Now here's the inside of the PS3 Slim. You have your CD drive, your Blu-ray drive, your disc drive, whatever you call it. You have your fan and you have your power supply down here. Now the power supply, you can get off of Amazon, uh, kind of like a refurbished one. It's basically one where they pulled out of a working PS3 and the person on Amazon is just selling it. It's basically selling as refurbished. You can get them for between 11 and $20 free shipping if you have Prime. Now, you can also get aftermarket. With me, personally, I always stick with Sony Original, so as long as you can get one for cheap, it's fine, but remember, it's gonna be used, it's not new. You can get a new aftermarket one for around the same price, or sometimes a little bit less. So how the power supply works, there is a cable over here, as you can see, and there's one over here. So you're gonna first remove the one on the right side of it, all you do is gently pull up. You definitely don't want to rip it off of the pins here. We just want to lift it up there. And this side here is a little tab. You just punch the tab and it comes right out. 
There also is two screws, one on each side, that you will have to remove. They are the same as the other ones, just your standard Phillips head screwdriver to take those out, and you're going to obviously want to save them. Now, with moving the wires away, you're going to grab the power supply and you're going to lift it straight up. Reason for this is on this corner here, there is pins. So it is basically a very long pin that goes up into the power supply. If you lift it up on an angle, it could damage or break those off and then you're going to be in a lot of trouble. So it's easier just to do this. As you can see, if I lift it up gently here, this side here, the left side, it's not really looking like it's attached to anything. So again, what a lot of people do is they'll grab it once it's unscrewed and they'll rip it off like this. Problem is that will damage your pins here. So you wanna lift it straight up. So you're gonna put your fingers over here to kind of lift that up a little bit. And you're just gonna wiggle the other side to try to unplug it just like that. So you can see here, this here, it is a long pin and it goes inside this part here on your power supply. Now before replacing the power supply, before even ordering one in my opinion, what I would do is simply check to make sure nothing looks like it's fried or burnt. You're gonna check the connect uh, connections, uh, all of the wires, where you can see the motherboard and make sure everything looks okay, it looks fine. If it does, then as long as you have your replacements, you're gonna go in and install it. You're basically gonna reverse all the steps that I just shared with you. So again, to put it in, you're gonna push it straight down. You don't wanna put it on an angle. You want the pins to align to it. And you're gonna also watch out the cables because you don't wanna pinch those in it too. So you're just gonna start with this end, make sure it lines up well. And you're just gonna move the cables out of the way and you're slowly gonna push it down until it's all the way down. And then with the cables, you're gonna start with the one over here. It is, in my opinion, the easiest one. You're gonna push it straight down, make sure it clicks. This one here, you're going to push it over, if I can get it. See, it is a little pain because it has to go right over and clip just like that. Then you are going to put the screws back in on each side. Once you have that done, all you have to do is put the cover on. You start with the front, you'll see the little uh, lips there. You're going to put that on like that. And then you flip it back over. You put the security screws in first because they're easier and smaller so they can be lost easier. And then you're gonna put all of your screws around it back in and then you're gonna put the feet back on it and you are done. The last step that you're gonna want to do, obviously, once you have it all put back together, is connect it, turn it on and see, make sure that it works. Make sure that you had the cables pushed in correctly and as long as you have the cables pushed in correctly, the power supply was pushed all the way down it will likely turn on. If not, just open it back up, check to make sure you did everything properly, maybe take the power supply out again and put it back in, maybe it didn't seat right, and that is how you do it. So that is the quickest, and easiest way to change the power supply and replace the power supply on the PlayStation 3 Slim. Super easy to do, doesn't take no time at all. The only thing that you definitely need before even opening up your PS3 is these security bits. Again, you can get them off of Amazon for $10 for the set. All you really need is T8. Any other consoles, Xbox, things like that, even for Xbox controllers to open those up, I think it's T7. So it's better just to get a complete set. And you can also get them where it's a longer uh, bit as well. I have those as well. They're easier to use than these. These I don't use as much anymore, but for the PS3, they work perfect. So. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll leave this video here. Please take care. Peace.